Hey guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episodes three and four of The Dangers in My Heart. So let's go ahead and get started in with episode three. In three, two, one, go. Hi, cutie patootie. Okay, let's hear it. Okay. Interesting. Ain't that Yamada? That's just Yamada. Are you sure? Because that looks like Yamada. Hmm. I mean, because you know, you're Chini Boyos ish to kill her. It does make me wonder, like, um, officially when he's going to confess to her, or is she going to? I mean, because it, it seems like he fell in love first, and then she just initially, you know, typically was like, oh, okay, me too. But slowly but surely, like, I'm guessing there's going to be an episode where it's like, yeah, I'm smitten for this boy slash of a man. <laughs> I would have had this out, like, or recorded this, like, even an hour ago, but if you follow me on Twitter and such, the day of this, aka the 15th, um, something came out that I needed to watch, very important, gaming-wise, and one of these guys that I'm sub to was talking about it, and I was like, okay, let me go ahead and watch it. Um, all I'm gonna say is that was really dumb for them to do what they did. They could have literally just did a post. Instead of doing what they did. But. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> Is she relaxing too? Uh oh. That's just your horny thoughts, kind of. <laughs> You're just destined to be with each other. Oh, she's so pretty when she sleeps. Like I said, once again, she looks like Comey. Like, oh my god. Uh oh. And you? You have a heat stroke or something? Oh. Probably. And then you go outside in the hot sun? Yeah. You're not about to sit. Oh. She's so sweet. <laughs> I 
I mean, you can just give it to her later. You're in the same class, so... For science, babe. For science. <laughs> Curse you, horny thoughts. <laughs> yeah, can you take this to her when you're done? Oh my god, we sweat just as much as anyone else. <laughs> Normally, like, we just try to hide it with perfume. Uh, really good perfume. Shit. But we also still, just as much as anyone else, take a freaking shower, wash up. Hmm? The candy? No, the candy. She's like, I don't care about the jacket. The candy. All I want is candy. Oh, my God. That is the face of don't fuck with me, don't ask me anything, don't talk to me, don't want to hear your shit. And then, you know, when they we, we all just look at each other and be like, what the fuck was that shit? Okay, chicken. Right? the picture <laughs> oh my god Like, I know this is not typically what guys talk about, but... <laughs>
Right. <laughs> yeah. He didn't take your candy. Yeah, no candy. <laughs> All I freaking hear when she speaks is Tomori from Bandari, and it makes me want to cry because I love her so much. I'm proud of her you though. Like, to go from that to this. Damn. As someone who also got hit with a ba <laughs> basketball ball, it's the worst feeling in the world. I literally wanted to beat the crap out of the girl who did it, but she didn't do it on purpose, though. But still, I looked at her sideways and I'm like, girl, mm -mm. Because mm -hmm. mine need that. Especially with the impact of the throw, like, we don't, it, w it was an accident, but still. But some people end up doing it on purpose.
It is. Under the bed, under the bed, under the bed. Well, I mean, because you're worried about her. Ugh. A photo shoot. Baby, no! Oh my god! No, no, no! Protect her! No! Oh. oh my god. Because you care. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Ew. You know that's unsanitary, dude. <gasps> Oh, poor baby. Look at her. Basketball. Boom. Honey bunny. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, not the trembling of the lips. Oh, that's how you know the cry is really bad. I hate when I do that. Like, oh, I did that when I watched Demon Slayer. Oh, god. Anytime when a character dies, <laughs> cry like a little baby. If you don't go hug her, console her. Uh oh. More tissues. You got tissues? <gasps> Are you gonna give them to her? Oh. For Yamada.
you could have just hand them and be like, here. Oh my god. <laughs> She's literally going to take them all. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that's a cute title card! Oh my god! That's so sweet! But just in that moment, once he saw, and I'm guessing it was like her ID thing, the picture, that's the next, that, ah! Oh my god! That's so cute and wholesome as fuck! Oh, I'm gonna die! That just signified, like, yeah, I really like this girl. Like, yeah, she a little weird. She ain't typically, you know, like, who I probably go for or whatever. Girl, eat too damn much. But, you know, he, he likes that about her. And that is okay. Maybe, you know, some guys do like the fact that us women, we do like to eat and such. Not talking about myself, but ish. But I'm just saying, you know, it's just me. <laughs> but no, I, I love the fact that he, in the moment after she got hurt and was rushed to the nurse's office, <clears throat> he immediately, like the good somewhat boyfriend he is, because, you know, they ain't officially dating yet. As a good boyfriend or as someone who really is concerned for her well-being and her safety and her health, like, ran to the nurse's office just to go see her. Like, if you... My hair. <laughs> if you don't do that, like, or, or just anything that seems really genuine and caring like you really care for the person like damn if you don't do that I don't want you like no I mean I, as okay I, I cannot believe about to like not only talk about myself but women in general um women in general for us I think we kind of um want too much in a guy and such and we we know I remember like somebody literally me and me and this guy had a conversation it was probably on one of my old streams on my old channel where he asked me like what I wanted in a guy and I had listed what the heck was that are you okay okay um I had listed like so many things that I wanted right and I think at that moment, like, the, the comment that he said to me, like, but you know most guys don't like that. And I was like, I know, like, that still woke me up on that comment. Because, true, they're not, like, this list that you have for a guy, like, he or she, he's gotta be this, 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 and this. There is no fucking guy like that and such. My biggest thing is, like, I just want a guy who would just make me happy at the end of the day. Like, regardless, you're gonna love me. Um... For how the freak I am. For what I am as a person. Who I am as a person. And such. And that you you cheer me on and stuff. Also, you gotta love my mom. You also gotta love my dad too. If you know what. Like, we, we've talked about my dad before. Um, but, my, like I said, my dad's a good guy. Um, but just, ish. Um, but really, you gotta love my mom. Because my mom is, like, my number one. And she's very, and a very important person in my life. Um, if you can't love her, then you can't love me. <laughs> and such. That's, like, the, it, it's, would I say it's a, a deal breaker? Mm, 
I, I mean, because, like, that woman would do anything for me. Truly. My mom would do a lot of shit for me. Um, and so I value that as her daughter and such. And I, I think it, whenever the fuck I have kids, I think it's, it's going to definitely be the same way and such. Um, but even, like, just... Um, do I want that? That's not me and this significant other going to talk about and shit. But just you know, making me happy—that's the the big thing. Treat every day like it's our last and stuff. You know, make me smile and such. Make me laugh, giggle, whether it's a <laughs> or any type of freaking laugh I've done in any series that I've reacted to and such. Um, to the point where, like, if I laugh at something, y'all end up laughing at something. Because I freaking know y'all. Because y'all say, like, my laugh is fucking contagious. And I have heard that since day fucking one of ever since I was a freaking child. Up until my age of now of 30. So level 30 up. Um, but no, this was sweet. I love the fact that, you know, he acknowledged that he does like her. And such. Now I'm just waiting for them to do more hangout moments and such. Hopefully we do get to see that soon because as of right now, it's like, okay, you like her. What you gonna do? How you gonna say it to her? Where, where are you going with this? Like, I love the fact that you, he's doing so many things to like kind of show his appreciation for her and stuff, especially the stuff from last week going into this week, but I, I need to see more. And hopefully, <clears throat> we might see that in episode four, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one. feelings for her but you do <laughs> okay <laughs> Dangerous, don't touch. <laughs> She about to mix it all up in there. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> you could have clo- oh my god. Oh, honey. Uh oh. Never use test tubes and beacons, guys. We all know that. Finger. Ta-da! Say ah. Uh. Good. Yep, that's all you get. <gasps> oh, my God. Of course. You got a crush on her, sweetie? Oh, no! That's what she was trying to do. Yeah, at least say you're sorry for doing what you did. Okay.
Read the room. I apologize. Say it louder. <laughs> yeah Yamana you in a way you are somebody not only because of the VA but the fact is money loves um band-aids of animals and such girl over here with candy wrappers <laughs> it's cute Jesus Christ. I mean, I genuinely thought she was going to share the thing with him too, but, <laughs> but earlier, yeah, just the, here, just the tip. Uh, just the tip. Oh my God. Poor baby. You okay with that?
Mhm. <lacht> ja. <laughs> what? No. Uh oh. <gasps> Look how pretty she looked. Cause you're doing the shaka shaka chicken. Uh oh. Yeah, but she wanted to see you. I'm just loving these two. 
I can't. Not only because she's a tall girl like me, and I'm into some short guys, too, because, like, y'all short kings, y'all good. Like, oh, my God. Oh. He's right. <laughs> right? Thank you. Yeah. Bye. They think it's so fucking cute. Like, ah, <laughs> like, oh my God, freaking gag. The, the cutie potatoes, and it's only episode four, and they're just fucking adorable. Even her, like, okay. Literally going downstairs to go talk to him. That's so fucking cute. Like, ah. Oh. Bitch. Stop. Oh my god. I can't with this show. This show has my heart, and it's only episode four. Jesus Christ. But no, but the fact is, like, I love the fact that she went downstairs. Like, not with two intentions. One, to talk to him, but then like, oh, well, yeah, I want to get some soft serve and such. And he comes back with Ricky Chicken 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 and soft serve, and she's like, oh. Copying me, huh? Like, Y'all so freaking cute, I can't. This show is gonna make me, like, die of, of happiness and such. This show is gonna stupidly make me believe in love again. Again, and then she's like, "Oh my god, I'm such on cloud nine. <laughs> and then someone's gonna fuck up, and then I'm not gonna believe in love again, because that is what I'm currently in right now. I really do not like. I, I mean, I believe in love. I always have, and I always will. But being in relationships and stuff like that, and especially like when you are with a guy and you are in a relationship with someone, you are very intimate and such, and so." 
no matter what you tell someone, it, it's either going to be a hit or a miss. And you talk with them every single freaking day. And, you know, and the one day they just poof. Poof. <laughs> But as I always say in my videos, I am okay by myself. At the end of the day, I have myself, I have self-love and such, and I am okay with that. There, There's nothing wrong um, being with yourself, even though, t t okay, so regardless, today is the 15th, but when Patreons will see this, it'll be the 17th, and when y'all will see this, it'll be officially a week after Valentine's Day. As I said yesterday when I was watching Gushing Over Magical Girls and stuff and saying, oh, hey, happy Valentine's Day. It is okay if you were not with anybody on Valentine's Day. Even if you were also with someone on Valentine's Day, you still have yourself at the end of the day. The self-love thing is very important. Don't um, get upset when your friends, your family members, co-workers could possibly do that shit. I haven't had that happen to me yet. Um, people who are closer to you and very much closest to you say, oh, well, you need a boyfriend, you need a girlfriend, stuff, da 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 like, you don't really need someone always to make you happy. You have that self-love, you have the love from your friends and family and everybody else and such, because I've had people in my life who have told me, well, maybe you should get a boyfriend, da -da -da -da. right now, after, like, I, I am the, I'm in a mood of, Fuck, pe fuck men and such. I don't really want to be in a relationship right now. Even though at the same time, I am someone who is like, oh my God, that's so sweet and cute. Kind of want to be in a relationship being like, where the F is he? Um, but at the same time, I think because of how I currently feel in my life and such, I, that's why I'm like, I really don't want to be in a relationship right now. Not only having to do with my stuff and your stuff at the same time, but I'm still trying to be supportive with you. But then at the same time, you don't really want to hear anything from me. Then why should I spend time on it? You know? So yeah, that's all you're going to get from me. You got self love at the end of the day. Love yourself regardless. Mm-hmm. Go eat you some chocolate. Go drink some, uh, well, I can't say wine because I don't know how much. Well, majority of my audience is around my age. So if you are around my age, go drink some alcohol. This ain't alcohol. It's just juice. Um, but go drink you some alcohol because, like, last night I didn't drink any. I wanted to for Valentine's Day because it's traditionally what I kind of do. But I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Unless I watch the next two episodes of Dr. Stone. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes three and four of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next for nope, next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes five and six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.